Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. Today we're diving into something that's been a real thorn in the side of designers like us. Garbled text and images. You know the drill. You get this beautifully generated image from platforms like Midjourney and Blue Willow, only to find out that the text it spits out is more like a scrambled alphabet soup than anything readable. It's like trying to decipher a secret code, and let's be honest, we've all been there, right? And the thought of manually editing and retyping all that text? Well, that's just a recipe for hours of time-consuming frustration. But today, I'm about to unveil a new platform that can help with all of this, and it's called Textify, and it's free to use. Imagine this, you can highlight that jumbled mess of text, type in what it should actually read, and with a click, watch as Textify works its magic, replacing the gibberish with the readable text you entered. No more endless hours of tedious editing, no more pulling your hair out over seemingly uneditable images. So if your designers had enough of playing text detective, if you're tired of wrestling with uncooperative text, then you're for a treat. And with that said, let's head over to my computer and get started with today's tutorial. Let's go. Okay everybody, so welcome to my computer screen. As you can see, we've got the website we're going to be talking about today on screen. And the name of this website is Textify, with the website address textify.storia.ai. And again, don't worry, I'm going to leave a link to this website in the description box below. So let's just take a look at what this website has to offer. So basically, on the left hand side here, you're going to be uploading um, your photos that you know you create on Mid Journey, on Blue Orlo, on Leonardo. As many of you know, a lot of these you know image generators don't get text right. More often than not, it's all garbled, it's all jargon, you can't make heads or tails of it. This website claims that it's going to be able to help negate that by actually putting in the text for you. And basically, how you go about doing it is, first and foremost, you're going to be uploading your photo onto the website, and then on the right-hand side, as you can see, we've got the before, and then you'll have the after. Okay, basically what this program is going to do. As you can see here, we've got the banner just above this group of people sitting in the living room, and clearly you can't make heads or tails of what that, you know, what those words are. But after using Textify, you can see that now it's been replaced with Intervention, we're here for you. So how does it work? So basically, we're going to upload an image with text. Then we're going to click on the canvas and type in the replacement text. If you simply want to remove the text without replacing anything, you just leave the text box empty. And obviously, this program will get rid of that jargon. And then you can actually use another image editing program to actually insert your text. I do have to inform you right now is that this particular website isn't very good at circular text. In fact, through all the experiments that I've done, it doesn't handle it like well at all. It doesn't even do it. But because of the fact that you can actually highlight over the text and remove it, then you can go ahead and put it in, in a, you know, through imaging programs like Photoshop, Photop, hey, even in, you know, with Canva if you want to. So let me show you how to go about. We're going to use this one over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your mouse, turn it to a cross, and you're just going to click and you're going to drag open a box relatively covering the entire text. Okay, as you can see here, you get the word text appearing, and then basically. All you need to do is simply just type in whatever it is you want to replace it with. So, I don't know, let's just use uh, Halloween Committee. Okay? Now, once you're happy with that, all you have to do is just click on Textify there. You wait a few seconds and see what kind of changes will happen through this website. But, you can make a few other tweaks before clicking on Textify. So, after you've typed in whatever text you want to put in, just click outside of it. Then click back on the box and you get these options over here. Now the first one here is just basically to flip horizontal. So if you want a mirror image of that text, you just click on it. You've got you know the, the mirrored image. Then you've got the duplicate function. So let's say for example you have one word and then you want to do another one but relatively the same size. Just click on duplicate and then you can actually move it to wherever you want to on the image if there's any other text over there. If you don't want it, just click on the trash can and obviously it gets deleted. All right. Then this A button over here, if you click on it, okay, it gives you different justifications. So you're just going to click through until you get to the one that you want. Obviously, we want it to be centered here. So now we're just going to move it over back to where it was. And then you can also edit the text and just retype over it. Now, the one other tool that I want to 
I bring to your attention pertains to the font size down here below. If you click on this drop down arrow here, you will be able to choose the font size according to obviously the numbers that are listed in the website. So then once you're happy creating all of the tweaks that obviously this platform will allow for, all you need to do is just click on Textify. And then we just wait a few moments for the AI to start working, analyzing the image, and then obviously inserting the text that you've typed in. So it usually takes about a minute, depending obviously on the image size, we're already up to 13 seconds. Um, I found in my experimentation that it, anywhere between 30 and 45 seconds is roughly how long it takes. And as you can see here, Textify has brought up four um, samples that we can actually take a look at here. So we've got Halloween committing, um, in different font styles. The one drawback with this website is that, again, it doesn't always get the spelling correct. You know, with image platforms like Blue Willow, uh, Midjourney, and even Leonardo, even Canva for that matter, um, the words are illegible. At least with this one, you've got some form of legibility. If you don't like it, you can always just click Textify and it will regenerate. And what I have found is that when you do it a couple of times, more often than not, there will be an image that comes up with the correct spelling. So there is that possibility, there is that option. The other option that you can do is you can actually leave everything blank. So we're going to just clear it off. What we're going to do, here comes the other one here. We've got Halloween committee just above me over here. We've got the correct spelling over there. Um, well, we've got an E over there. It looks a bit like an O, but you know, you can easily correct that in, you know, Photoshop or Photopea over there too as well. The other thing that I was going to tell you to do is that you could actually just clear in a text box, leave it blank, and then just click on Textify. And this will get rid of the text, and then you can actually go ahead and put in your own text in platforms like Canva, Photopea, Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever program that you enjoy using to create your text. But the great thing about it is that, you know, you've got an image generated by these mid-journey platforms, okay? As you can see here, we've got something that appears. We've got this one up over here. We've got this one here. We've got the fourth one here. The third one, it still gave us some text. But again, you know, nothing is really perfect with these image generating programs for now. It's already a far cry better than it was up to a few months ago. At least as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, put a comment in the comment section down below. There weren't any platforms out there on the internet that will allow you to take, you know, um, an image that you generated on these image generating platforms that has garbled text that will allow you to either A, get rid of it in just a few seconds or actually change the text to the text that you want and get it right. So Textify, while still not 100% perfect, is still a far cry better than what we had up to a few months ago. Let's just check another one here. Um, let's go on to this one here. And we can see this is obviously happy, happy birthday. And obviously happy is definitely misspelled. So what we'll do is we'll just click on this one here. We'll type in happy. Now, obviously, the text is too big, so we're going to hit Control a to select all, and then we'll go down to font size, and then we'll just decrease the font size to a size that, obviously, we would be happy with. And, obviously, you know, you need to play around with it, as is the case with most platform, but I think that will work as well. Then, if I want to do the second one, I just click and drag another box there, and, again, I'm just going to type in happy again, because it's happy, happy birthday. And what we'll do is we'll bring the size up to 64, Okay, we'll just click out, click back on it if we want to move it around. Okay, and then the last one we'll do is we'll just do birthday. So it goes to show you that you're not just limited to one word. You can put in as many text boxes as you want on the image and, you know, insert as much text as you want. So let's just type in birthday and select all, control A, and we'll just bring it up to, let's say, 96. Okay, and then we'll just move it around a little bit. Okay, when we're happy with it, we'll just click Textify. We'll wait those few seconds for the AI to do its magic. Have a sip of coffee. There you go, and now it came in. So I think it did a better job with this image than it did with the previous one. If you want to see it a little bit more in depth and to increase the size of it, just click on the thumbnail where there's the eye icon there and obviously it will be brought up a little bit and again we still have a mistake over here with the P it's like they're crossed over onto each other and the Y is cut off a little bit but again you know that's not difficult to correct 
in platforms like Photoshop or PhotoP. Or what you can do is you can just leave them blank and, you know, see what the platform does by getting rid of the words that were in the image. Let's try that now. Okay, so we just have our text boxes totally empty. I'm gonna hit Textify. Because I like this image, I wanna download it, I wanna put the text in the way I want it to be. I wanna be able to select the font style that I want and the weighting and the bolding, whether it's italics or whatnot. This program, if it works well, we're gonna find out in a few moments, will allow me to be able to utilize this image that I have created on platforms like Midjourney, Blue Willow, and Canva. And then obviously I can utilize it accordingly. Now here we go, obviously it didn't do it that great. It replaced it with some other text, probably likely that it's thinking that I still have some text over there. Let's just click Textify again and see what happens. Okay, so it wasn't working with the three text boxes. So what I did, I went in and I got rid of the three text boxes and I replaced it with one large rectangle covering the entire um, text area. And when I clicked Textify, then the program came back with just one sample. And as you can see here, it got rid of the text left me a nice blank area. This was a little bit of garbage, a little bit of artifact over here, but again, that's not something difficult that I couldn't get rid of in Photoshop or Photo P. And I can go ahead and put in my text according to as well. So as you can see, this is really an easy program to use. Again, I'm not going to lie. It's not a perfect fix, but it is an option that we can utilize that you can go ahead visit the website, try a few images that you've generated on any of the platforms that we mentioned earlier on. See, you know, maybe you have a greater degree of success with the, this program in terms of getting rid of the text. If anything, it's just a tool to help you speed up the process of creating those amazing designs that you can then, you know, upload to your respective print-on-demand platforms to put up onto your shop. So, you know, gone are the days where you get an image and you just throw it in the garbage because there's too much garbled text on it. This will give you the option to at least save um, that particular image, give it a try to save it, and, you know, if it does, well and good, you've got another design in your arsenal to present to your client base. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this short video. I didn't want it to be too long. It's not something that, you know, is very time intensive that needed a lot of explanation. Um, but I really wanted to share it with you because, you know, having found it, I thought this would definitely be something that a lot of you probably would be able to appreciate, particularly if you don't have a lot of experience using Photoshop or Photopea or even Canva for that matter. You just want something to obviously help you get rid of the garbled text and give you the opportunity to put in some, you know, legible text for your design. So again, I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel or haven't as yet subscribed to it, please do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Help me to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of this calendar year. I know that with your help, I can reach that goal. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to do so. If you are interested in taking your print-on-demand business to the next level and learning how to generate more sales, please consider clicking on one of the two video thumbnails that have appeared on your screen now. I'll see you there. Thanks again.